If you've ever wanted to rig a water balloon toss, you might be interested in Laplace's Law of Wall Stress. I'm Rithika Narayan, and today we're going to be spectators in a summer game. Person A and B are leading the competition in a water balloon toss. The objective of the game is to toss the balloon the most times between the partners before it can burst. But when person A and B are looking, their competitor switches out their balloon for one with a similar volume, but a thinner lining. Back in competition, the thinner balloon bursts within seconds, eliminating person A and B. You might be wondering what balloon thickness had to do with the ability to win the game. This is where Laplace's law becomes significant. Laplace's law of wall stress states that the wall stress T on the wall of a fluid-filled sphere or cylinder, such as a water balloon, is directly proportional to the pressure P of the fluid within the sphere and the radius R of the sphere and is inversely proportional to the wall thickness H. Now let's get back to the water balloon toss from earlier. When person A and B's competitor replaced their balloon, although the pressure and radius were the same because the same amount of fluid was in the balloon, the wall thickness decreased, resulting in an increase in wall stress and ultimately causing the balloon to rupture. We've just covered a lighthearted application of Laplace's law of wall stress, but when applied in the medical field, the law can save lives. Nearly 5 million people live with congestive heart failure, and over a half a million new cases are diagnosed each year. The root of heart failure is increased stress on the wall of the left ventricle. Normally, the amount of blood flow in the left ventricle is supported by the thickness of the ventricular wall. However, when blood begins to build up, usually due to poor oxygenation in the lungs, the pressure and radius increase while the wall thickness remains constant, resulting in an increase in wall stress. In response, the wall thickness of the ventricle increases in order to negate the effect of increased pressure and radius on wall stress. However, beyond a certain point, the ventricle wall no longer remodels to accommodate a blood accumulation and wall stress passes a threshold into heart failure. Treatment for heart failure includes the injection of algacil gel, seen here as these blue beads, into the ventricular wall. This gel serves to thicken the wall and restore function to the heart. So what's the real breakthrough here? There's research that uses Laplace's law to explain the progression of diseases like cardiac failure, polycystic kidney disease, and the growth of ovarian cysts. With that come treatments that work with the factors in Laplace's law to save lives. Thanks for watching.